I just uh, uh, want to uh, just share with you a message today which is entitled The Welcome of Jesus. Uh, this has all been about welcoming today, welcoming Jessica into her church family. And so um, I'm going to read those verses again that I read as part of the dedication service where Jesus welcomed the children. So let me just uh, read them together for us now. People were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms and put his hands on them and blessed them. Do you know, in the summer of 2015, a lady called Anna Roderick saw a picture in a newspaper of four Syrian children huddled together. They were exhausted and scared as they fled from the war. Anna says, I found myself unable to tear my gaze away from their faces. And it led her to contact friends and family in this village in Devon called Ottery St. Mary, a small market town in rural Devon. And her suggestion was that they club together and try to house a refugee family in their town. Within a year, the group Anna formed, entitled Abide, were welcoming the Arnaut family, Hani, Amna, and their young children, Nur and Abdel, through the community sponsorship group. Now, the Arnauts are happily settled. This family is happily settled in Ottery St. Mary. Hani is working. The children are doing well at school and nursery. And Amna has given birth to another child who they named Mary in honor of the people of their new hometown, which has made them so welcome. And he says, here I know everyone. It's my new life. I can't believe I'm here now. I look out of the window and find it hard to believe. And there's a video that's been produced um, just to show something of their story. And I thought, as we're thinking about welcome, how we can welcome children, how we can welcome one another, as we're thinking about the welcome of Jesus, I just thought you might like to see this video. Thanks, David. عمي سعيد لولا وطائتين بلية طائتين بلية في الطعم يكون وا وا سمي هريج We change everything with my life. We change the life from one percent to ten percent. أنا First week, we're very shy and we can't talk. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Happy girl today. <laughs> Here, people very, very nice, very friendly, and they help. Should we get the pom poms out? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was just by seeing all the images and the newspaper coverage. Uh, in 2015, I suppose. And I just felt it would be good to do something practical rather than just donate money. And then I heard about community sponsorship as an opportunity. <laughs> UN says next month, gone to, to Devon. I don't know where is Devon. But when I says England, I says England in my YouTube, I see everything green, like paradise. I says, oh no, no. Is the dreams go to that? 
the community here they do everything when I come I don't know anything they take me to the town take me to the shopping they make everything beautiful in the house anytime I call anybody in abide they straight come to help we now nearly two years here they push me to do just by myself everything to I can stand up not help <laughs> <laughs> they still friend but they just you can do it you can do it you do it living somewhere like this it's not very multicultural lots of people don't ever have the opportunity to meet people from other cultures having the Arnuats here has given lots of people that opportunity and then people can just see things from a different perspective I think that helps to just break down some barriers and some prejudices a little bit Sorry about this cake because it's from incense please, not from me. <laughs> I'm not doing this next time. <laughs> Because Hani and Amni are very hospitable and very relational, it's definitely encouraged people to get together more and relate more. Come for coffee one day. Yeah? The need is overwhelming. The, the number of refugee families that need a second chance is huge. So it builds your own community at the same time as achieving something that makes a really significant difference for a needy family. So I think what's not to like? Yeah, her life will be completely different. <laughs> Hopefully she see everything soon. <laughs>
where the children were very much seen on the margins of society. They were seen as insignificant. Children, along with women, older people and slaves were seen as physically weak burdens on society. And what I'm trying to draw out here is, it's possible that the response of the team spoke more about their cultural values than about the focus and the schedule of Jesus. Look at the heart of Jesus. Do not hinder them, let, their come, let them come. And what I'm saying here is that Jesus wasn't afraid to cut across prejudice. He wasn't afraid to cut across negative values. He wasn't afraid to cut across cultural norms in order to offer that welcome. And the point I wanna make is this, Jesus welcomes everyone, no matter what your background, no matter what you've done, no matter where you're from, Jesus welcomes everyone. And I guess sometimes it takes courage to welcome someone who is not accepted. It takes courage to welcome someone who might be despised. It might take courage to welcome someone who's looked down upon. It might take courage to welcome someone on the margin. We see the courage of Jesus in going countercultural in order to welcome these children. So welcome can be countercultural, but we also see that welcome here is a blessing for everyone. Verse 16 says, and he took the children in his arms and blessed them. Do you know, it wasn't just the children that got blessed. It wasn't just the children and the, the mums who brought the children to Jesus who received the blessing. I actually think this actually turned out to be a blessing for the whole community. In what way did this bless everyone, not just the children? Well, I think it had a reshaping effect on the society. Jesus was cutting a new path. Jesus was cutting a different path. What he's doing there is reshaping society that rather having children on the margins, these children, and not just the children, anybody who is weak and vulnerable, anybody who has need, they need to be in the center of the village, not on the margins of it. I love that picture that Matt and Siobhan said that a, a, a child needs a village. It takes a village to raise a child. And, you know, Matt and Siobhan didn't know what I was saying today, but that's the essence of what this message is. Jesus is bringing the children into the center of the village, not to the margins of it. And actually, as we bring the weak, the vulnerable, the, vulnerable, the marginalized into the center, not only, do the, not only do the weak get blessed, but the whole community is blessed because it's reshaped in a more beautiful way. We become more alive when we're in touch with our humanity as it's meant to be. We need to place the children in the center of community. We need to learn from them. We need to recognize the gift they are. And today we celebrate and give thanks for the blessing that baby Jessica is to everyone here today. We are united in the joy, aren't we, of this gift of this beautiful daughter. We're united in that. And as she's been brought into the center of our worship today, we're all shaped by that. We're all blessed. So we give thanks to God for the wonderful gift that she is to Matt and Siobhan, the wonder, wonderful gift to their wider family and all their friends. And we celebrate the blessing that Jessica is to the church. We are all blessed by the gift of Jessica and give thanks from the depth of our souls. And the promise that we have all made today is to welcome her and to surround her with the love of a community. And that's our call on us as a church. Love, Jesus loved the children. Jesus welcomed the children. We are called to love and welcome the children particularly those ones that are in danger, afraid, marginalized, and from brokenness. Yeah? So, welcome can be countercultural. Welcome is a blessing for everyone. And just thirdly, the third thing I just want to say is, my hope today is that 
we would all know the welcome of Jesus. It's interesting what he says here. Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. In fact, actually, Jesus says these children are like a sign to us. This child can't do it on their own. They need to receive. And actually, we, 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 cannot, we cannot save ourselves. It's Jesus. We need us. Jesus is the only one who can rescue us. Jesus is the only one who can save us. That's why he was going to the cross to die for us, because he loves us so much. And he did that because he wanted to know us and to be in relationship within us. We have to become like that child. We have to receive the love of Jesus in order to be welcomed into his family. In other words, he wants us all to be part of his community. Jesus wants you to belong to his family. Jesus wants you to belong to his community, to be part of his love. And the way that Jesus achieved that, do you see why the, why the destination is connected with the journey? What we see demonstrated in the way that he cares for these children is a, on the grander picture, a demonstration of what he did on the cross. The, the, the destination is reflected by the journey. Jesus loves each one of us so much that he died for us. He loves us so much that he wants to be with us. Jesus loves us so much that his heart is to walk with us every step of the way, no matter how old or how little. Jesus sees us and Jesus welcomes us. So those are my three thoughts that I wanted to draw out today. And today is a wonderful celebration. Matt, we are so overjoyed for you and Siobhan. We really are overjoyed today and we welcome this family. And so in the midst of this great celebration, and don't forget, we are dangerously close to the cupcakes. You know, it's, I promise you it's not too long. I really do. But, um, you know, in the midst of this celebration, my heart, my hope is that each one of us, wherever we are from, whatever our background, whatever our circumstances, that each one of us would know the welcome of Jesus. Let's pray together. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the courage that we see in Jesus the courage to cut across prejudice and cultural norms in order to reach out in love. Father, where anybody is marginalised, wherever it takes courage for us, we ask that you would grant us that courage to welcome those rejected by the, the many, Lord. Help us to be that village to all those that are broken today. And we thank you for this amazing celebration and I pray that each one of us would really know your welcome helping us not only to be welcomed by you but for us to welcome you as well in Jesus name we pray amen amen